Hi everyone. Hi again. Sorry, we had some technical issues. So I had to reconnect. Is anyone online? Is anyone watching? So I can introduce myself. Can anyone write a comment? A hello. So what we are going to do is we're just going to wait for a little while for um, for everyone to log on before we start. Hi Seema. Super excited to be here. Okay, so uh, let's, uh, hi Viva. <laughs> so let me just give you a little bit of uh, background until, uh, hi Ria, <laughs> until um, we get some more people coming and, and we can then start. Uh, I'm Rina and um, firstly, let me apologize, please. Um, my Sindhi is not so good, but my koshish kandas to try and speak as much Sindhi as I can might not be possible. So, um, so I'm so sorry for that. But definitely, um, I will try to speak in Sindhi wherever I can. Um, I I uh, am actually so uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm nervous to be here, but I'm so thankful, uh, mostly to FSBN for this uh, opportunity. Uh, this is a this is a wonderful platform actually, and um, and I think it will definitely help not only women uh, but you know in in every aspect of our life. I see it uh, helping us. I was just uh, going through, and uh, there was a post that was uh, made about cybersecurity, which I think is amazing. I think it applies to everyone, uh, and it is a very important issue. So hats off to the team for uh, everything that they're trying to achieve and everything that um, uh, they're bringing forward. And definitely a big, big, big thanks to the team and the platform for this opportunity that they've given me. Um, all right, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about the um, cake that we're going to be making today. Um, it's going to be a red velvet crepe cake, honey. Uh, and definitely it's for Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day is very special. Definitely, uh, people put in the, you know, Valentine's Day, Asanji tradition, um, Asanji culture. So why should we, um, you know, why should we follow it or why should we do anything special? Hi, Neelam. Hi, Sangeeta. Um, definitely, I agree with all of that. The Western culture, I like marketing strategy with TV, I, uh, of late, you know, for selling chocolates and cards and flowers and everything. You have discounts and sales. But it, I, I would take it in a positive way. It's a way to show your love, not just for your partner. or It's, it's a way to show your love for your loved ones. Uh, for me, for my mom, for my daughter, for my friends. So uh, it's just in the spirit. Just take it in a positive spirit and everything is good. So today we are focusing on something called crepe cake. I think here, some of you must have seen um, the advertisement, the pictures that I put. So crepe cake uh, show. Uh, one, it's very, very, very simple, very easy. And two, it has a, uh, it has a good wow factor. Um, it looks it looks really really nice and three it is it's unique it's different so um i think we have a few people watching now so maybe we can uh, uh start i'm going to just start showing you all the ingredients so just give me a moment to adjust the camera so let me Okay, I hope it's clear. Please uh, let me know if uh, if it's not clear. So we're here. This is with 
uh, this is our flour i will upload the entire recipe in the comments so girls don't worry about writing anything down right now um this is your basic maida uh, about 325 grams of uh, flour which we have sieved and kept over here um this is this is a cocoa powder about uh, three tablespoons of cocoa powder here we have some sugar just caster sugar or you can take regular sugar and just grind it up so this will be 75 grams of caster sugar and uh, also 75 grams of melted unsalted butter now if you don't have unsalted butter it's okay just don't add the salt in the flour we will be adding half a teaspoon of uh, salt in the flour just don't add that and you should be good to go and over here this is about 6 eggs so yes this is an egg based recipe because it relies a lot on eggs a uh, crepe is actually a very uh, thin pancake as many of you might be knowing so we definitely need to have eggs over there so these are our main components now along with this um we are just going to sift this into a a big bowl and um, we are going to we all we are going to uh, add some milk to it and some buttermilk to it which i will show you right now Hold on, just a minute. So this is our bowl, and uh, we can just add that over there. This is our okay. This is our sugar. Okay, I'm just going to. I've already added the salt in this. I'm not going to add it anymore. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to add to this about six hundred ml of. milk so but first let's just whisk this properly okay and this is our eggs i'm just going to break this up a little bit over here this we can just add this to the to the egg mixture yeah and then i'm just going to add in this melted butter over here give it a good stir after that you don't have to be delicate because we need the batter to be well mixed okay if you can see this So now I'm going to add to this uh, dry mixture. I'm going to add my milk to it, and this is this is just your plain milk. So that goes in there.
just mix that. Yeah. Okay, so we can also add some vanilla because what vanilla does is it must all that um, it's the smell that comes from the eggs. It's optional, of course, but I choose to add it. And uh, so at this point, I'm also going to do something else. I'm going to let me just add the vanilla and then. So this is your just any vanilla extract. Um, on an average, you can add about um, maybe say two teaspoons. I can. I'm just going to eyeball it right now, and uh, yeah, so that much should be enough. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to take a little bit of milk and um, add some vinegar to it. Now the reason I'm doing this is um, red velvet, basically the name red velvet, whether you take it as a cake or whether you take it as a pancake, whatever, red velvet is uh, a chemical reaction between a cocoa powder and uh, buttermilk. Um, now we don't need to go out. You can use your regular um, lessee charge. You get in those small packets. You can use that. Or one very, very uh, simple and quick way to make homemade buttermilk is to just take uh, a cup of milk and um, add about two tablespoons of vinegar to it or lemon juice as well. I prefer using vinegar and just keep it for a few minutes, it will curdle up. And it gives a slight red, reddish tinge to the batter. Definitely not the uh, bright, vivid red that you see in cakes now that you have to add color, which we will also add. So I have uh, this generic vinegar over here and uh, I'm going to, to the 600 ml milk, I'm going to take some more, about um, 100 ml more of milk. So that's, and this is something that I'm also going to just use one tablespoon of. So I'm gonna keep that aside just for a few minutes for it to curdle. And uh, until then, I'm going to use this um, this gel color. It's a super red gel color, so you don't have to use too much of color. You can just use a little bit, and you'll get a nice bright shade of red. Um, thank you, uh, color use Kanakji is uh, a lot of people will definitely say, but color is not healthy, and you know you can't give children. And definitely, I have a kid. I would not want my kid having so much. So it's okay, it's just a wow factor. You can just make it with the cocoa powder, you'll get a slight taste of uh, chocolate and that's definitely good enough. This is just a random occasion, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. I have my um, milk that I just put a little bit of um, vinegar now and uh, as soon as you put in the vinegar, you'll notice that it starts curdling up. Uh, definitely look a bit like before you make paneer. Um, that gives a bit of sourness to it and the sourness reacts with the cocoa powder in the batter to get a red tinge. So that's in there. And we're gonna mix that up also a little bit. You want a nice thin batter. So for any reason, <clears throat> sometimes because of temperature, humidity, uh, or the kind of flour used, uh, the batter might not be as thin. You can go ahead and add some more milk to it. This recipe is very versatile. There's no hard and fast rule. 
if you feel you want it sweeter you can add more sugar to it so this is not a recipe that is extremely sweet and uh, that's our color right here i'm just going to this about um i would say about one teaspoon of color okay and i don't know if you can see it as yet let me just try to adjust the camera <clears throat> so we already have a nice red batter and this is a consistency it's it's very very thin it's dripping so this is the consistency you want because you have to make very very thin crepes <clears throat> i would my mother says crepe is just a fancy word for dosas or chilas and definitely i'm from the south so definitely reminds me of our dosa so there's nothing in this to make at all it's very easy that's your batter that's ready now over here i'd like to give you a tip if you can keep the batter for um half an hour it's better you get a better texture of the crepe um the only thing that does is um you know you get a little holes in if you make a dosa or a chila you will not get that if you let the batter rest for half an hour but if you're in a hurry then it's fine you can just go ahead and make it right now so i'm going to uh, start making this apart from this we will be giving it a nice um, later on a, a white chocolate mousse frosting in between so let me make a few crepes first and then let's get on to the frosting this is the <clears throat> okay while this is warming i'm just going to uh, i'm just going to brush it with a little bit of butter you don't need too much of it just a little bit and then wipe it off i'm going to be using um a uh, one eighth cup uh, this is a one fourth cup so i'll be using half a cup of this uh, somewhere around here like two tablespoons per crepe so you know you're going to get an even quantity all the time okay like that over there Right. We have about. So what you're going to do is you're going to immediately swirl the pan around. Okay. and you're going to use a spatula to turn it uh you can also use your fingers because it's a very delicate uh pancake so you can't use a, a regular wooden uh spatula it will be too thick and it will break the pancake
In this video request for okay i hope you can see this let me adjust it i don't know maybe this is a better view so all you're going to do is just flip it like that and just let it be yeah you'll notice i didn't add any butter because this is a non-stick pan so if you're using a non-stick pan you don't need to butter the pan uh, per se that's it this is done i'm going to take this out and i'm going to put it on this plate that i have here This amount of batter will make uh, between 30 to 35 preps. Depending on how thin you can make it. So this is the most labor intensive part. Uh, it is a super easy recipe to make. It's only a little bit time consuming because you have to uh, make these thin crepes but apart from that it's a breeze and some batter uh, in the fridge it will be better uh, because if the batter is rested you can make it in the evening let it rest in the fridge in the night and pull it out in the morning about 15-20 minutes before you're going to make it and you'll have a lovely batter to make lovely delicious crepes this again I'm just going to flip. If there are any questions, meanwhile, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'd be happy to help answer any questions that you guys have. So I'm going to now, uh, I have already made a batch of crepes, so I'm going to uh, move on to talking about the fillings and uh, give you optional fillings. Ani, um, I have chosen to go in for a, a white chocolate whipped cream uh, mousse uh, frosting in between, which is very, very yummy. Um, but uh, you do need a blender for it to beat the chocolate, uh, to, to beat the whipping cream. If you don't have a blender, because not many of us have uh, blenders, but if you don't have a blender, ta, uh, you can use different options. My favorite second option would be to go in for uh, Nutella. You have a jar of Nutella. It's a, it's a very yummy option. Most of the kids like it. So you can do a Nutella option. Um, you can do um, a lemon curd option if you like it flavors you can just make a lemon curd you can even go for our regular jam uh, a strawberry jam or a mixed fruit jam uh, and you can alternate the layers with uh, with either cream or you can alternate the layers with some chocolate spread they all come out very very yummy and of course um, you don't have to make the whole cake um, you can just make individual crepes and you can spread a layer of whatever filling you like and fold it up and serve it with just a little bit of icing sugar on top. And that is equally yummy too. So ladies, if you're short on time and you say, oh my God, who's going to do so much stand and make these pancakes? Don't worry about it. You can just make four or five and I'm sure all your loved ones will be equally happy and equally impressed.
So we have made three over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this off. And we'll get making the cream. Just give me one moment, ladies. Let me just clear up this and get everything for the cream. So before that, let me just show you that these are incredibly, incredibly thin. So they are extremely thin. And this is how you need to have them. You're not going to make these thick like dosas at all. As thin as possible that you can make it. How would be prefer? Let me just get this. This let me okay. So we here I have um, this is two fifty grams of uh, white chocolate chopped uh, white chocolate that you can get in the market and I'm going to be uh, taking about 125 ml of fresh cream okay so let me just uh, measure this out I'm just going to add this chocolate into this bowl Keep that aside. And what I'm going to do here is Shake it up a bit. I'm just going to make a white chocolate ganache first. So your ratios will be um, half of white, uh, one part of whipping cream to two parts of chocolate. That is any measurement you take you can just follow that. So I'm just going to weigh out about uh, 125 grams of cream. We're just going to heat this up very gently. We don't want the cream to boil, we just very, very gently let it heat up a bit. So I'm constantly stirring it. You can also do this in the microwave. You don't have to do this on the stove. You can just add the cream and the chocolate together and stick it in the microwave. And heat it up for 30 second intervals. 
and by that i mean when you take it out just give it a stir a gentle stir and then put it back again because you don't want the chocolate to burn in the bottom when you see a uh, small bubbles forming on the side that means it's ready to take off i'm just going to wait a few more minutes just going to leave it for a few seconds to melt a little bit don't start mixing it immediately let the heat from the cream melt the chocolate Okay so since we are done with the heating element part i'm just going to move this and until then our chocolate is melting okay now you can start stirring it gently you can see the texture is changing the chocolate is melting i'm going to stick this in the microwave for 30 seconds because i can still see there are some large pieces of chocolate in here So just give me a minute guys all right so sorry to leave you guys but i just stuck this in the microwave for 30 seconds and you can see it's nice and creamy yeah so this is how we want it we're going to keep this aside since it's a bit warm to cool it down
I have over here, um, <clears throat> this is a, a dairy free with topping. And we are going to take um, <clears throat> about 250 grams. If you are going to make a larger cake, then you're going to double the quantities. I'm going to give you the recipe for um, <clears throat> for the double the amount of cream. So now I'm going to just take 250 grams of this cream. You can <clears throat> take any dairy free with topping that you get in the market. And of course, if you are lucky enough to get actual whipping cream, then there's nothing like it. Um, unfortunately, so this is what we use as bakers and it bakes up beautifully now <clears throat> the key thing to remember about this it has to be cold so i've just pulled this out from the fridge um, you don't want it uh, entirely frozen because then it's not going to whip so make sure you remove this at least a couple of hours before it has to be stored in the freezer but uh, before you whip it, make sure you take it out a couple of hours before from the freezer, measure it out, put it in your bowl or uh, whatever and keep it in the fridge for a few hours so that it can have a chance to melt. I've taken this out uh, in the morning and I can see it's, it's still got a little bit of um, crystals in it, but that's fine. We're going to break those crystals up and let's start. So I'm going to measure out 250 grams of whipping cream. You don't have to add the white chocolate to it if you like just the whipping cream. You can use just the whipping cream. Okay, so this is 250 grams. And I'm going to put this in a larger bowl and uh, Whip it up. You can add some sugar to this. I think I would add about um, maybe two tablespoons of uh, <clears throat> caster sugar to it. You can just break up. If there are any uh, crystals, just make sure you break them up before you whisk it. Okay, you can see. You see my texture is fine. this I'm just going to add in about um, roughly about two tablespoons of sugar all right it's going to blend it now for a while my hand blender. I'm just going to check if it is good to go. Okay, 
Okay, so we're good to go. so you can see the texture. Sorry about that. Get you guys a little closer. There's a lot of glare, so I don't know if you can see it properly.
cream. Um, <clears throat> so these kind of cakes of this um, fine. I'm going to stop over here. And ladies, if you don't have the time or the inclination to make anything special, just whip a bowl of cream and add some strawberries and give it to your loved ones. And then that's an easy Valentine's dessert. Just put in some fancy glasses and there you go. You're all set with that. Okay, so I'm going to take my chocolate ganache that we made. It's, uh, it's cool to the touch now. And I'm going to gently mix this into this in a few parts. So what I'm going to do is just add it gently. And you will notice I'm very slowly holding it in because I don't want to break the cream that we whipped. So there are so many elements to baking, to food, to desserts. You can just uh, also use this as a separate dessert. It's a nice, yummy uh, white chocolate mousse that we are making. So you can uh, just stop over here and uh, guess at any time if you want. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm going very gently with this. I'm not over mixing it. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I have some more chocolate in this bowl, but I'm going to stop here because it's nice and creamy and thick. You don't have to use all the chocolate, of course. So we've got a nice mousse over here. It's a nice thin, creamy, yummy white chocolate mousse. So I'm going to put that aside. And just so 
I have some crepes that I already made earlier today. Just need to make some space for the filling. I'm going to do uh, an alternate layer of uh, this beautiful white chocolate mousse that we just made and I'm also going to add in some uh, chocolate spread uh, it's basically Nutella that I use so this is just removed from the jar and I'm going to alternate the layers and I'm going to make this so it's going to have a layer of dark chocolate or regular chocolate and white chocolate and that's going to make it extra yummy. This is my turntable, you don't need it, but it definitely helps make your job easier. I'm just going to use a piece of card and just now the reason I'm putting some cream first in the bottom is so that it doesn't fall off or it doesn't slip or slide. I'm just going to layer your cake. And you can be as generous with your filling, but you have to remember that you're going to be doing about 30, 25 to 30 layers, depending on how thin. So those of you on a diet might want to go a little lesser with the with the cream. But you know it's Valentine's Day, so I say you should just indulge. And that's my second layer. So this I'm just going to add some Nutella here. If you have any questions to ask, please go ahead. I'm reading all your comments. Hi, Neelam. Sorry about that. So it's so simple, it's so easy, and it looks like you've taken the whole day slogging over it making this yummy cake your loved ones are definitely going to be impressed with it you can make the crepes beforehand if you are short on time just make sure you have you cover it well with a cling wrap so they don't dry out and it must must stay in the fridge.
my daughter is in absolute love with this i've made this three times now and she's absolutely in love with this this is a yummy um, it's a yummy option for a school breakfast as well of course not the whole cake just a couple of crepes what i do is on fridays i give her sometimes a little bit of a treat it can be a pancake or it can be a muffin so she is definitely going to ask me to do crepes again It's already looking super yummy. And guys, this cake which I'm making right now in front of you all is for sale. So, if any of you guys feel like you want to have this cake, you can just contact me and I will keep this aside for you. and anyone ordering from ssgn will get uh, a 10% discount on any of my cakes for the next uh, one month but you have to be a member of ssgn and you just give me a call and let me know you watched my live video and if you liked it or not you can also go to my personal page and check out all my work over there i have a company page by the name of new amor which is actually brazilian for my love portuguese my husband is from brazil so in honor to my husband i decided to call my beautiful cake venture me on more it doesn't get more romantic than that on valentine's day Now you can stop wherever you want to you can go all out i have about 10 crepes over here so i'm just going to go ahead and do this you can also make mini crepes if you don't want to make them as large and these thin layers it gives such a beautiful rustic uh, look and feel to the cake so when you have that paper thin crepe and then you start stacking it one by one the visual appeal that it gives is just amazing very easy to slice you 
can also cover the outsides with cream like you would a regular cake. So I think we are going to go ahead and uh, decorate these with some strawberries. And you can also serve this with a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream. So I think I have about uh, 10 layers over here, but I also think we are running out of time. So I'm just going to stop decorating over here and I'm going to show you maybe do one more layer. I'm just going to show you some nice decorated with some strawberries on top. Just keep this in the fridge to set up for about half an hour. And I'm just going to clear it up here so you can see what I'm doing now. piping nozzle here I'm just going to try and pipe some stars or rosettes on top you of course don't have to do it a good option would be to just cut some strawberry slices and uh, just powder some sugar and it's all ready to serve Just have some lovely strawberries. And that's it. This is our cake that's done. So you have your yummy, lovely red velvet crepe cake. 
and uh, just keep it in the fridge for uh, about half an hour before you eat it or cut it and you should be good to go so guys i hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, i want to thank the team of ssgn again i realized that i have not spoken in sindhi much and i apologize for that once again but as i was talking to the moderators uh, i believe they are going to take the effort to even conduct sindhi classes which i am looking forward to um i would love to learn uh, sindhi i would love to teach it to my daughter and um, you know actually when i was younger i uh, my dad could even write in sindhi and i i have always wanted to learn how to even read and write in sindhi but never really got the opportunity to so um, i would definitely love to learn from ssgn and hopefully if i get a chance to show you something else again um, related to baking i would love to present it in sindhi um in a more confident uh, spoken sindhi but apologies today i did try but uh, the, because of the technical aspect of it i think i was more comfortable in english so i'm so sorry about that and uh, if you have any other queries you have any other questions related to baking please uh, leave a comment in the you can ask me and i will try and answer it i am going to upload all of the recipes um, within by later tonight uh, in the comments so you have the ratios you have the recipes and you have different frosting filling options as well uh with this i would uh, i would like to wish all of you all a very very happy valentines day uh for you for your partners for uh, for your friends uh, on this beautiful community and uh, i hope uh this brings some sweetness in your lives in your day and you guys have a very happy valentines day and uh, a blessed year for that matter thank you so much for watching Bye bye